Hi again, and welcome to Sorelvea Yoga. Today we're going to be doing a kind of interesting, different yoga class. We're going to be doing some softer yoga poses with, I recommend either a bolster or a pillow, and definitely have some blocks. I once again forgot my blocks, but for sure have a bolster or a pillow or something squishy that you can lounge on and some blankets around too. So if you want to pause this real quick and go grab all of those, I recommend it. And then we're also going to fit in one or two hatha style yoga flows, which still build up some warmth in the body, but they are poses and postures, okay, they're shapes in the body that are held a little bit longer than your normal vinyasa flow where you're going one breath per movement. You'll do more like three to five breaths per movement. So I'm excited. I think it's going to be a really yummy and very heartfelt class. And yeah, go ahead and hop onto your mat, get your props that you need, and come already onto your back. And have your bolster or pillow near you. So find a good old shavasana shape here, but bring both hands to the belly and softening the front of the body and then intentionally softening more of the back of the body onto your mat. The more surface area of your spine and your back is touching the mat. And just letting whatever you've got going on today, or if you're doing this in the evening, letting go whatever happened already, that's the key. Just let it go for the next little bit that we're practicing here together. And maybe let it go for the rest of the day or the night. And just starting to take some deeper breaths here. Where the inhales really puffing up the belly, pressing it against your palms. And each exhale is deflating the belly. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And beginning to seal your lips if you haven't already. And keeping this breath, this ujjayi pranayama, coming in through the nose and back out of the nose. And allowing the body to warm up from the inside out. And focus you, ground you here. Give you something to give all your attention to. Do not have a poetry book to share or a poem to share with you guys today, but I do have one of my favorite quotes by one of my favorite singers. <laughs> you will laugh, I promise you. It's going to make you laugh, but it's a good one. So the quote goes Find out who you are and do it on purpose. And that is Miss Dolly Parton. As you're moving throughout today's practice, seeing if you could add any bit of flair, any extra things, breath work, movement, anything that is just yours, that feels good for you, stuff that I'm not cueing, stuff that just feels natural. And then off the mat, keeping that in mind, that authentic part of you, you know what brings you happiness. You know what you like. You know who you are but trying to live by that more and more purposefully. Take one more breath here. Let it go. And then fluttering the eyes open, grabbing your block or your, I mean, your pillow or your bolster and bringing it over to the left of you, drawing right knee into your chest. And then we're going to end up bringing our right leg to rest 
across the left side of our body on the bolster or the pillow. So you want it kind of close to you and you're turning so you're in this spinal twist, but you're resting the whole weight of this right leg on the bolster or the pillow and right arm just kind of splays out or rests on the belly. Left hand can come to this leg, just feeling this twist in the lower back and the belly area. If you're not feeling it too much, see if you can come more onto the left side. The right shoulder might lift, that's okay. I'm taking some breaths here, easing the body away. Feeling our belly and our back. We'll get a little extra massage today. And one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. And we're going to switch sides. So take your bolster over to the right. Draw left knee in towards your chest. And then bring left knee all the way across the right side of your body. Coming on to that bolster. Get it where it's really, really comfortable. And then the left arm can splay out like a cacti arm or just rest the left hand on the belly. Finding a spinal twist on the opposite side. And just breathing here. And taking one more breath. Stay for the exhale. Okay. And then coming back onto your back, moving the bolster and your pillow out of the way. Kick it out of the way. Legs come into the chest, and we're going to rock and roll all the way into a comfortable seat, but with each rock and roll really rolling all the way onto the spine. So coming to a comfortable seat, if you'd like to sit on a block, sit on a block or on a bolster, finding crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, twist to the right, gazing over your right shoulder. Lift the gaze, lift the heart, pull the navel back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist again to the right. Maybe this time hooking right hand over left towards left hip, left thigh area, or just resting it on the lower back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left again. Once again, taking now that left hand either to the lower back or that right hip. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, finding a side body stretch here. So crawling the right fingertips away from you left arm reaches up and over and maybe taking the gaze up or just softening finding a shiva gaze stay just like this or come onto that right forearm really feeling that stretch in the left side of the body here big breath in exhale switching sides crawling left fingertips away from you right arm reaches up and over Staying like this, they're coming onto the left forearm. And gazing up, pulling navel back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swing your hands behind your back. Interlace them with your inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. And you're pulling the palms away from the low back if it feels good. For three, two, one, and fold. Maybe forehead touches down, maybe not. Keep pressing sit bones back, finding a nice stretch in the arms and the shoulders for three, two, one. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, shifting into your tabletop position. And right when you get here, curl your toes, sit back on the heels, and we're going to stretch out our wrists. And I recommend if you do not have your blocks yet, and you'd like to use them, grab your blocks right now. <laughs> We're going to meet back in that tabletop position. Spread your palms, pressing through all finger pads. 
Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, arching the back. Exhale, rounding in, gazing towards the navel so you're getting a stretch in the back of the neck. Inhale, lifting heart, lifting chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Maybe adding in some belly rolls or any other organic movement, just kind of moving the body. Finding some fluidity in the spine. But seeing what feels really good. Take a couple more breaths here. And then find that table top. Good. Start to send that right foot back. Flex your toes. Square the hips off, so you're going to lower that right hip down a bit as you engage the right glute and the back of the right thigh. Inhale. Exhale, step right foot in between your hands. So you're in a low lunge, Anjane Asana. Here would be a great place for a block under each hand. And untuck your back toes now. Find some lift in the front body. Inhale, exhale, finding your Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits, walking the blocks back with you, drawing right hip back. Inhale, bend back into that front knee. Exhale, half split, straightening. Inhale, bend back. Exhale, straighten and pause here. Flex the right toes, and since it's early in the practice, you might still have a nice bend in this front knee. Up to you on how your body's feeling. Inhale, bend back into that front knee. This time, hands come to that front thigh. As you do this, notice if you're pressing the belly forward, start to pull it back. Relax the shoulders. Allowing the body to naturally build a little heat up as you hold these beautiful shapes for a little longer. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, hands come down. Step back to your tabletop. From here, find a child's pose. And your choice, knees can be together or apart. And hands can reach forward or maybe they come back by your sides. Finding three breaths here. And two more. Wherever you're at, feeling the breath, feeling the belly press against the thighs with each inhalation. One more. Inhale, come back up to that tabletop. Curl your toes, send the left foot back. And once again, find that little tuck in the tail. So you're really engaging that left glute now in the back of that left thigh as you find lift. But not so much of an arch, just a nice lift. Inhale. Exhale, stepping left foot in between your palms. Grabbing your blocks if you push them aside. Really broadening in the collarbone. Finding some lift in the heart. Come onto the top of that right foot as you find your half split. Left hip comes back. Inhale, bend back into that left knee. Exhale, come back. Inhale, bending. Exhale, straightening. Lifting left toes. And then once again, maybe finding a nice, a generous bend in that left knee or straightening it out, but don't lock in that joint. We're just wanting to create some lubrication there. Working into the connective tissues of the body, one of my favorite reasons for practicing a bit slower and gentler, softer. Still just as healing, still just as wonderful as faster, sweatier classes. 
and they really, really hone in on working in those connective tissues. Inhale, bend back into that left knee. Hands come to the top of that left thigh, staying here. Noticing once again if you're pressing the hips forward, just dialing them back a bit. So you really have that front knee stacked over that front ankle for now. And just feeling the shape, feeling the front of this right thigh, feeling that right hip flexor, the glutes, the tops of the feet, the soles of the feet. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Draw thumbs back. Exhale, cartwheel hands down. Step back, tabletop. Good. From here, taking another child's pose, a little different than the one before. So if you had knees together for your last child's pose, bringing them apart this time. Resting forehead down for three breaths. Your next inhale coming back up to that tabletop. And I want you to rest your right palm in front of your face on the mat as you sweep left arm up towards the sky, but then bring left hand to the back of the head. With your exhale, we're going to crunch left arm towards the right. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, sweep it up. This time, stretch left fingertips up to the sky. With your exhale, thread the needle. So you're going to come onto your left shoulder and left cheek. This right hand can stay where it is or crawl it up overhead and stay just like this, or maybe start to float right foot up, or you can just send it back. Really try to draw right shoulder back behind you so you're lifting the heart up more to the sky and exhale coming back down if you lifted right foot inhale sweeping left arm back up exhale switch sides so left hand comes down in front of the face on the mat right hand sweeps up and back and then bring the right fingertip to the back of the head elbow up and crunch it in with the exhale Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. There's a bird that's really happy this morning. It's singing a bunch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lift. Sweep right fingertips up. Exhale, thread your needle coming onto right shoulder, right cheek. <laughs> I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it or not. Oh, it's a cardinal. It's that same crazy cardinal. <laughs> Staying like this or walking the left fingertips up overhead. Or maybe sending left toes back and up. If you do this, though, really think about opening up the left shoulder back behind you. We want some space in the front body. Mm, staying for the exhale, maybe lowering back foot down if it lifted. Next inhale sweeps right arm back up. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale here, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. And pedal it out, taking it for a little walk. Really bending in the knees, shifting in the hips, spread your palms. And pulling the navel up, lifting sit bones up. We're going to have a little fun here. So start to lift right leg up, bend the knee, lift the knee up to the sky, try to touch your heel towards your bum, but lowering right shoulder down. Okay, from here we're going to step right foot in front of left. Left foot's going to sweep up, bend the knee, lift the knee up towards the sky, then step left foot in front of right, and right foot lifts back up. So we keep going with this, maybe coming up onto fingertips, all the way till you make it to the front of the mat. Left foot's up now. And if you have longer legs than me, this might take you a little while. I have pretty short legs, so I'm basically already at the front of my mat. We're going to meet in a rag doll, catching opposite elbows and just swaying, shifting the weight forward and back. 
Relaxing the neck and head and releasing the lower back. In your next inhale, we're going to slowly rise up, trailing your fingers across the front of the legs. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana, standing, rolling shoulders back. There's a little dove getting water. How sweet. Spread your fingers. Close the eyes. Reconnect with your breath. Remember our Dolly Parton quote. Find out who you are and do it on purpose. Not who society wants you to be. Not who you think you should be. But who you are at the core, at the soul, at the heart level. Not saying drop off either from society. Of course, you still have to live in it. But you can bring your authentic self to everything. Inhale, open the eyes, reach up. Exhale, fold. Enough of my spillage for today. <laughs> Halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward, high plank. And then come right onto your knees, chest and chin. And then slithering up, Bhujangasana, baby cobra. Hover the palms, press the tops of the feet into the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower forehead. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, take a child's pose. Big inhales, long exhales. And then inhale, gaze forward, step or hop to the front of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back, meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, lower onto knees, chest and chin. Slithering up, find your baby cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower forehead. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, take a child's pose. Balasana. Hmm, two more breaths. I'm finding a nice stretch in the front of the body, the fronts of the arms and the chest and the spine. Good. This time, sweeping right leg up. Point your toes. Exhale. Step right foot all the way in between your hands. Oh my lord, my hair has gone crazy. It's very humid today. Lower back heel down. We're going to rise up to our warrior two pose. Virabhadrasana two. So nice open hips. Tuck of the tail. Strong arms gazing over your right fingertip. Breathing here. Spread your fingers. Spread your toes. Flowering them. Press through that back heel. Inhale. Exhale, find a goddess shape with hands at heart center. Good. And then we're going to find a little bit of dynamic movement here. First, though, really, I'm going to turn so you can see. If you're arching the spine and pressing your booty out, do a nice tuck. And I'd say rather than going super low, if you find that you're leaning forward, come a little bit out of the shape. Come a little higher. Think of knees trailing in the same direction as our toes. Hands back to heart center. Okay, ready. Dynamic movement. Facing the back of our mat, we're going to find a crescent lunge. Back heel is lifted with back knee bent. Come right back to that goddess shape. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, goddess. Woo. Inhale, crescent, testing our balance. Come back to that goddess. One more crescent with the back knee bent. 
And from here, we're gonna start to twist, taking right arm to the outside of our left leg. If you need a lower back knee to here, please do. Or begin to straighten back leg. Really bring thumb tips in front of the sternum. Draw left shoulder back, lift the gaze. And you might topple over like me. Breathe. From here, we're going to ninja move it right back to that warrior two at the front of our mat. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. That back hand can rest at the lower back or crawl it down the back leg. Keep bending into that front knee. Inhale. Exhale, find your side angle. So whether that's forearm to thigh or finding your blocker pillow and you can rest your palm on the inside of that front foot. Really think about reaching left arm up or up overhead, but either way, that left shoulder is drawing back behind you. Navel pulls back. You can find a soft gaze here. Just be with the shape, be with your breath. Feel the legs, feel how strong they are. One more breath here, still keeping that energy in the body. Inhale. Exhale, moving the block out of the way, stepping back downward facing dog. Option for a flow or taking a child's pose. So coming through high plank, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slithering up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower forehead. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking some breaths here, spread the palms. And other side, left leg lifts, point your toes, hips are square. Exhale, step that foot in between your hands. Roll back, heel down. Rise up, warrior two, Veer Bhadrasana two. Setting it up on this side, taking up so much space on your mat. Spread your fingers. Rolling the shoulders up and back down onto your back. Feeling the strength of the inner parts of the legs, the outer parts. And I'm really gonna suggest on this side, forgot to mention that on the other side, Bring your hands to the insides of your thighs and start to roll them out. So you're really pressing open, hips open, legs open. Feel the shape. Inhale. Exhale, coming back to our goddess shape. Hands at heart center today. Sink a little lower, maybe. Here you're rocking side to side. And then guess what? Crescent facing the back with that back knee bent or resting on the earth, up to you. Goddess. Ooh la la. Crescent. Find that balance. You might fall. It's okay. Just get back up. Goddess. Crescent. One more goddess. And crescent coming back, holding here. Stay just like this or lowering that back knee. Left arm is going to come to the outside of that right leg, hands at heart center. Remember, you can always come here. Or if you're here with the back knee lifted, begin to straighten back leg, pressing through the heel. Flower your front toes. Lift the gaze. Finding space in the front of the body, the front of the heart. Thumb tips at heart center. And ninja move. We're going to come big inhale. Exhale, warrior two, back to the front of our mat. Whew. And I say take that one slow because you can get a little dizzy. <laughs> or you're just on a roller coaster. Take it, ride it. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. 
that back hand can come to the lower back or crawl it down the back leg, making sure to rest it above or below the knee though, not on the knee, or the back of the knee. Inhale, exhale, moving into your side angle, whether that's forearm to thigh, or if you're like me and wanna use the bolster or your block on the inside of the left foot. Right arm can reach up or up and over your head, drawing right shoulder back. Think of dialing the heart to the sky. Keep pressing through that back foot and keep bending in the front knee. Strong glute. Quiet mind. Soft face. I know, much easier said than done. But hey, we're here together. We're flowing together, breathing together, existing together. I couldn't ask for anything more. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel hands down, moving that block or bolster out of the way. Step back down, we're facing dog. Child's pose or come forward, high plank. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slithering up, baby cobra. Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower forehead. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open your mouth, stick your tongue out, let it out. Ah. And then come into tabletop, grab your pillow or your bolster, and you might need it to be a little taller. I'm a, I'm a pretty short lady with a tiny torso, um, so I keep it on the lower level, but if you want it taller, you can just stack more pillows or put a block under here and lift it. Bring the bolster in between the legs, not all the way in between, but like halfway down the thighs. And you're going to start to just drape your body over the bolster, resting on one cheek. And slowing back and down. Finding a gentle, restorative child's pose. And really feel your body letting go on the bolster like. Don't hold back here. Let it be just a heavy pose, like all your weight just on this bolster. Relaxing. That's a key word. See if you can relax. Coming back to the breath. Keeping the body the same. Lift the head, though, and shift so you're resting on the opposite cheek. Maybe closing the eyes. Just staying with just the breath here. Slowing the heart rate back down if it's sped up. One more inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then coming up, moving the bolster out of the way, and we're going to find a melting heart pose, or also known as puppy pose, depending which type of yoga we're doing. But we're doing a mix here. So you come to that tabletop, crawl your hands forward, forward, and either rest the forehead down, maybe on a blanket, or come onto the chin. And it's a nice stretch in the front of the body as well as a good back bend. Three breaths. Good. 
Inhale from here, we're just gonna slither forward so we're all the way on our bellies, finding a sphinx pose, forearms down, chin to chest. Elongating the back of the neck. And then crawl your hands forward just a little bit. Start to lift the elbows up, finding a seal pose. You'll be closing the eyes if they aren't already. If you feel comfortable with that, you can always have them open. Now relax the glutes and just feel this stretch in the back, primarily in the back. The arms might be a little shaky, a little tired. It's okay. And then bring forearms back down. And start to roll back onto your back. I recommend getting your bolster or your or a block. Bring it closer to you so we can use it. And just finding a happy baby. So catching the outsides of your feet or your ankles or even your calves. Soles of feet dialing up towards the sky, knees coming towards the armpits, lowering the tailbone down and shoulder blades down. So if you're lifting up a lot like this, there's a lot of strain, <laughs> crawl the hands down the legs. That way you can relax the upper body down. You can always take dead bug if it feels good to you to find a little movement. Straightening and bending one leg. And then plant the feet down, knees up. Taking a restorative bridge, sliding the block underneath the tailbone. Or just lifting the hips up, taking our good old bridge shape. Mindful of our chin and our chest. Staying for five. Four. Three, two, one. If you're in a restorative bridge, just staying there on the block. If not, lowering the hips. And I want you to take your bolster. I should have had you do this before you laid down, but that's okay. And we'll try it out. If it feels awful, come out of it and just take a regular Shavasana. Or let's try to take a Shavasana using our props here making it extra cozy. So you're gonna bring your bolster to your tailbone and you can have it lifted if you have more pillows or on a block, you can have the block lifting it up so you're in this higher elevated back stretch here. Or you can have it just all the way down. And let's try with feet together, knees out wide, so Supta Baddha Konasana legs. And just resting your upper body along the length of your bolster. And palms just come to rest by your sides, facing up. And it'll take a little finagling to get it so that it feels really good on the spine, where like, if you wanted to, you could hang out here for a very long time. And you can always slide blocks or pillows underneath the thighs or straighten the legs out if it's too much on the inner part of the legs in the hip flexor area and the groin. And like I said, you can always just take a regular Shavasana too. These are just options. And we only want to use them if they are enhancing our practice, not hindering, <laughs> enhancing. Deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Ah. One more. Let it go. Ah. Well, my dear yogi friends, this is where I leave you staying as long as you'd like. Highly recommend, as usual, five to ten minutes or even longer. Get real cozy, though. Get all the wiggles out and allow yourself some mindful rest. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, any concerns, requests, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. And thank you again for practicing with me today. Namaste.